Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Cricket is where we begin. Joshua Da Silva notched a century as the three-day warm-up match between the West Indians and Cricket Australia 11 ended in a draw on the final day in Adelaide. Now resuming at 137 for three, the West Indians posted 315 for five declared in their second innings. Da Silva carried on to 105 from his overnight 55. His knock included 15 fours. Fellow overnight batsman Kavim Hodge agonizingly fell for 99 after zooming on 44. The pair also shared in a 136-run fourth-wicket partnership. Justin Greaves also made 41 not out as Liam Haskett took 3 for 65 for the Australians. Now set an improbable 393 to win, the hosts were 149 for 5 in their second innings in the post-T session when both teams agreed to call a draw. Kevin Sinclair took 3 for 38 for the West Indians. Tim Ward made 39 and Jaden Goodwin 34 for the Australians. Australians and our scores in the match was the uh, West Indians at 251 for 8 declared and 315 for 5 declared. Cricket Australia 11 and 174 and 149 for 5. Now this is the only warm-up match for the West Indies ahead of the opening test against Australia starting next week Tuesday in Adelaide. Now, Jamaica Scorpions assistant coach Nikita Miller says it would be like music to the air should talks of Jamaica hosting regional four-day matches uh, for the first time in four years turn out to be true. According to TVJ Sports sources, Jamaica looks set to host matches in an expanded eight-team league format tournament. Miller, who bagged 538 first-class wickets across 15 years, explained the advantage of playing at home. Minot Cricket West Indies CEO Johnny Grave was not willing to divulge much information when contacted by TVJ Sports on Thursday, but said an announcement will be made shortly when the fixtures are released. Three-time former Jamaican champion jockey Anthony Thomas won his first race of the year at Gulfstream Park in Florida when he closed the Wednesday's nine-race program aboard the 5-1 to one chance Love Paradox for Jamaican-born trainer Rohan Crichton. Thomas brought home his mount well, brought his mount home in a driving finish after mounting a challenge approaching the final bend of the five and a half furlong claiming contest for four-year-olds and up, which had a purse of $26,000. Run to the top of the stretch with Chloe's toy still the target. Love Paradox goes after the leader in second. Splurge, three wide and chiming into it from third. Underway from last is Talking Wonders. Off the turn on the stretch drive, the leader is Chloe's toy. Trying to close the gap is Love Paradox. Splurge on the outside. Talking Wonders is next. They come past the eighth pole. Love Paradox, Splurge, they're both kicking from between Love Paradox and Anthony Thomas up to the task. Love Paradox wins. Love Paradox for the money. Close then for second, either Chloe's Toy or Splurge. 103 and 2. How about that from Love Paradox? Thomas, who began riding at Gulfstream last August, rode seven winners at that track last year. Football, there will be no Jamaica Premier League matches on Sunday, January 14. The JPL, the JPL released a statement stating that due to the Jamaica Football Federation's voting congress, at, uh, which, will be, which will take place this Sunday at Rossi's High School, the matches were slated for Sunday, will be played on Wednesday, January 17 instead. The, the uh, double header at Stadium East Field on Monday will uh, still go ahead as planned. And that's where we leave the field of play for now. And I am Jeremaine Brown. Shane, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news, sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.